Hey everyone, this is Matt back again with another painted video for Mantic Games, bringing you another model from their Night Stalker Vanguard range. This is the Banshee model. So to begin with, we're giving it a uh, black primer coat, and now we're just going to use a Harder and Sternbacker Evolution airbrush and start just working on the what I'm going to call the skirt of the model. So using purple from the Vallejo range, we're just going to use the airbrush and just catch the bottom areas of the skirt. I'm running the compressor at two and a half bar of pressure. So now we're gonna start blocking in the other colors. First, we're gonna paint the interior of the, what's, the mouth with black red from Vallejo. Next, using Earth from the Vallejo range, we're going to just paint all the claws, teeth, and any other bony elements of the model. It also has some strange crown around the back of her head, which has a couple of what look like claws coming out the top, which we've also painted in the same colour. Making sure to get all the teeth that run down the side of the mouth. And then again for the bale fire, we are going to paint that French blue, again from the Vallejo air range. So three coats of this to get a good solid blue colour. Being as it's an air range paint, it tends to be a lot thinner. Now we're going to wash the model. So to wash the Again, what's called the skirt area I'm using purple tone. This just helps tone the purple into the black. It makes it look like it's blending as one colour. I also use the purple inside the mouth and the red. Purple is a good shade colour for red since it's in the same spectrum with blue. shade the bell fire with blue tone again from the army painter range and finally we shade all the bone areas with strong tone again which is a really dark earthy brown tone color just want to make sure when you're washing a model that the tone doesn't pull too heavily in certain areas just give it a nice even coat. So now we're going to go back to highlighting the purple area of the model. We're going to go back to the purple that we'd already used. This will just help bring that purple back out on the skirt area. We only really want to paint the highest areas of the ribbon. So we just want the purple to be a suggestion of colour on the bottom part of the model. Just use inside of the brush to pick out all the ribbed areas. So now we're going to highlight the grey. We're going to use dark sea grey and basalt grey, again from the Vallejo range. So starting with dark sea grey, we're just going to do an initial highlight. Just concentrating on all the areas where the light would be hitting from above. So the top of the chest, the top of the arms, fingers, and the ribbon that goes down the back of the skirt. Making sure to pick out all the musculature of the model. Now we're coming in with the base alt grey, and we're just going to highlight a smaller area than what we did with the dark sea grey, just to give us a nice transition of colour. If you find you go a bit too high with these highlights and it looks a bit too grey, you can always go back with some dark tone and just wash the model back again. And that will just blend the colours in slightly and just tone them down. So now we're going to highlight the mouth. So we're going to start with burnt red again. 
and we'll just add a small amount of avicentum red and let's hold up all the bone areas going back to the earth and we're going to slowly start adding amounts of ivory just to bring it the color up Just making sure with each successive highlight you're working on a smaller area each time. Just to give you a good transition of colour from light to dark. Now going back to the bell fire, we're going to start working with French blue again. Just making sure we leave the darker blue in the recessed areas. And also working as a with a lighter blue going out towards the tip of the flames. And start adding the light like, sea blue. and start working on a smaller area consecutively each time. For the final highlight I add a very small amount of white. This is just used on the tips of the flames. There it goes, that's how it all completes. Be sure to check out our previous videos in this range and keep your eyes peeled for some more videos that will be coming up over the next few weeks. Hope you enjoyed it and you got something from it. See you soon.